what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we just finished up our monday night raw live stream reaction shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream you always make the shows that much better um nothing really of notice um happened you know not many things were progressed that we didn't already know once again the uh um, the wwe draft starts on this week's uh, edition of friday night smackdown so i think that's when things are going to really uh shake up and that's what uh, a lot of people are looking forward to but the one thing that was very noticeable was triple h's announcement now there had been reports that triple h had already designed a new championship a new world championship um but we didn't know when it was going to be unveiled and pretty much triple h announcement was the unveiling of the new world heavyweight championship he pretty much went into his spiel about how roman has been the champ for over a thousand days and he has set up his contract where he doesn't have to work as many days but at the same time the show must go on and there needs to be an active champion on the show so he pretty much announced wherever roman gets drafted to on the draft this week or whatnot he will be only exclusively seen on that brand and that will be it which means both the titles will be going to that one particular brand the wwe universal uh world heavyweight championship will be going to that particular brand and that's it since that's the case now there needs to be some other championship in place for the other brand and obviously most likely roman is going to be going to smackdown because fox wants roman on smackdown so most likely he's going to be going to smackdown and since this draft starts on smackdown they're probably not the first pick it would make sense he's going to be on smackdown for the foreseeable future which means raw needs a champion raw needs a championship and he unveiled the new wwe world heavyweight championship and uh, bruh it it looks fantastic it looks great it looked beautiful the crowd out there loved it they loved it you guys remember when the universal championship was first unveiled and how people were booing it like they looked at it i was like oh what is that like people started booing it it wasn't it wasn't like uh this reaction where everyone was like cheering and praising it was like what the hell is that what is that raspberry jam belt well this was the complete opposite reaction i i legitimately was thoroughly impressed by the design it reminds me of a little bit of the nxt world heavyweight championship their main title i love the nxt i mean nxt uk world heavyweight championship i've always loved the design of the nxt uk uh championship the men's championship it reminds me of that with the designs and how it's set up but at the same time it also reminds me of big goldie man it's like a a modern style of big goldie but it still has like um the modern day feel of how wwe does their belts with the big wwe logo but this one is not prominent it's like it's in the middle it's in the center but it has a globe around it it looks so good it's a combination in my opinion of the nxt men's uk championship they're they're you know the nxt uk uh, men's championship big goldie and the modern style of how wwe does their belts like with the the big w and then the side plates it looked it has that regal regal presence it looks like a a a, a great championship i am so excited about how it looks and the memes are of roman at home sitting there looking at it like what the hell why i ain't get that I'm like oh bro it's in my opinion right now it's the best championship belt they got on the roster it looks great i wish they would remodel the women's championship belts too i think they need a, a fresh new paint of coat uh, a fresh new paint as well like dog that it looks like it's something worth fighting for not to say that the the blueberry belt in the wwe championship ain't worth fighting for it's just those belts i mean to be honest with you they weren't the best looking only because they just have a big ass w on it you know what i'm saying they weren't the best looking it, i like belts that have designs on the main plates and the side plates and it just looks so good bro they triple h 
did a real good job on making sure that's how the design would be. Looks fantastic. Oh, bro, it looks fantastic. And and I like that they kept it out there on the show. And anyone that had a segment in a promo, they were all talking about maybe being the new World Heavyweight Champion. So here becomes the interesting thing. And we were having this discussion. Who becomes the new champ? Who becomes the, the, the new champ for Monday Night Raw? Who becomes the new World Heavyweight Champion? Now, the thing is, and me personally, I'm still on the bandwagon of Cody getting the job done. Because it would suck if we got all this build, he loses, he's trying to get to the point where he can get that rematch again. Only for him to just go for the new championship. Which is cool, but I don't think that's the route they should go. I think whatever brand Roman Reigns ends up on, I think Cody should be there. I think Cody should be there. So if he ends up on SmackDown, you put Cody on SmackDown. Now granted, he's still going to be facing Brock Lesnar. So I don't know how they're going to do that. I think that's probably still set in stone. And then afterwards, everything will transfer over. I honestly think they probably should have did the draft after the pay-per-view event. But that's neither here nor there. But if he's on SmackDown, which I do think Roman will be on SmackDown because they want him there. I think Cody should be there too. Because the story still needs to end. Because if that's the case, then his story never ends. Well, his story would have ended at WrestleMania. That's it. So I think his story needs to end sometime at SummerSlam and he dethroning Roman after everything you know happens with him in the bloodline so I do think they need to keep that going and I want someone new and fresh to win the championship when it's on Raw which means maybe we do get well I I do think that uh, with LA Knight he still should win the money in the bank and let him kind of decide how that plays out but I do think someone new and fresh should be the guy to win the championship I know a lot of people were saying maybe Seth should be it. I was like, nah, Seth can have his moment at some point, but I still think it needs to be someone new and fresh. If you're trying to build up somebody, this is the perfect opportunity. You have a chance to create a new star here. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. I know a lot of people are saying Montez. A lot of people are saying LA, uh, LA Knight. Um, I'm trying to see. Uh... I know people still want Seth to be a champ. It just really depends on how they book this. Now, I know the new champion is supposed to be crowned at Night of Champions, so uh, in Saudi Arabia. So that gives you an extra reason to watch that pay-per-view, which is awesome, or the PLE. So the question is how they're going to set it up. I'm sure they're going to set up everything after the draft on Friday and Monday. So I'm guessing they'll probably have a tournament leading up to that. Um, they'll probably start doing that after backlash. It only makes sense to do it after backlash. Then they have a tournament and then figure out, you know, the finalists for the tournament and we go from there, which will give the shows a little bit that much extra oomph to watch because this is going to be the head champion for that respective brand, which I think is going to be Monday Night Raw. And the only reason why I believe it's going to, this title is going to be on Monday Night Raw, mainly because one, it was debuted on Raw and two, I know uh, USA Network's been kind of upset that they haven't had a a top champion on their brand because Roman floats between shows, but he's not really there. He's he's really relegated. He's really only supposed, you know, relegated to SmackDown. But since he has both titles for the longest, he would go between both shows here and there. You didn't really see Roman on Raw like that. You know what I'm saying? So they were kind of upset with that. Those were the reports and the rumors for a while. Now that they got this situated... Now that Raw will probably have a, a, a new head champion and it looks beautiful, I am all for it. I am looking forward to They have now excited me to see a Saudi show because now I want to see who's going to become the new champion, the new world heavyweight champion, man. So this is probably the most exciting news we've gotten so far. And it's going to probably get a little bit more exciting leading up to the draft this week. So the question I have for y'all, who First and foremost, do you like the, the championship design? Because I think it's beautiful. It looks great. So that's first. Second, who do y'all think should win it? Do y'all think Cody should say, screw you, Roman. I'm going to go for these titles and stay on Monday Night Raw. Do you think he should finish the story? Follow Roman wherever he goes and try to finish the story. Let me know how y'all feel about that. And also, who do y'all think should win it, man? Who do y'all think should be the first 
new iteration. This is like a, the, the World Heavyweight Championship 2.0 with a different style to it. Who do y'all think should be the person to win that and be the head guy on Monday Night Raw? Let me know down below, man. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on the speed of YouTube. Wrestling Shepherd of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.